hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle uh, today I'm going to do Penthurst Place part two um, I've done some I've done the part one Penthurst Place that uh, features um, toilets and um, the adventure playground and some of the wad and pond area and I've also done two bonus uh, videos um, f uh, feeding, uh, feeding the, the chickens but those are only YouTube shorts and um, I've also uh, done another uh, bo uh, bonus vi uh, video but I won't tell you about that one. <laughs> um, I'll leave that as a surprise. <laughs> um, but uh, this is this vlog video is going to be at Penter's Place uh, Part Two, which um, is going to be a lengthy video um, about the gardens. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous I'm expecting so uh, just like Chartwell and Leed Castle Gardens so it is a grade one listed house and gardens unfenced deep water and unfenced surfaces again children must be um, accompanied by an adult at all times and then there's It was first laid out in 1346. Just it does um, a do. Uh, do not pick the flowers, climb or swing on trees. But yes, we've got some nice trees. And there's a beautiful pond and um, gardens and wheelchair access and this is uh, the car park um, outside the coach, uh, coach is parked in a different area though the house and toy, toy museums that way but again absolute beautiful pond ah oh. HS Partnered Gardens, Royal Horticultural Society, and it just gives you some information about spring arri arri arrivals and changing weather. Oh my! Oh my goodness! This looks absolutely amazing. A beautiful bench to sit on oh my gosh Dif uh, triangle bushes and also just a normal um, Bosch, like a, a half moon-shaped Bosch, 
and then we've got some trees and flowers all different colors wow and we've got this sort of like tree which is that goes all the way around the hedge wow this is the porcupine wow this is an amazing sculpture very unique and another bush tree and like like moon shaped half moon shaped hedges and and like shrub things um yeah it looks absolutely beautiful Wow, this head created as a doorway. It's truly unique. Wow. This avenue uh, commemorates the coronation of HM Queen Elizabeth II. June 1953. Wow. A beautiful tree perched on a wall and another one there. Wow. And then this is the door. Again, on the doors, um, early springs and gardens, spring arrivals. It's got more information yeah. <laughs> right. a lake park and dan cup well wow 30 acres of private parkland to enjoy and then again it tells you where to go to the, the Venture Playground gift shop exit, tour house, Porsa uh, Pine Pantry then again picnic areas and another one here and a bench to sit on and Lake and Home Park um, that way. That's private. It says up on it, no entry. Wow, all the different types of trees. 
and the flowers beginning to blossom. It's just lovely to see. Then you've got long grass as, as well. Again, a, an a extreme lot of maintenance work um, to all these um, historical houses and gardens just to take a lot of maintenance. Wow. Look at this. A fountain in, in a pond. Wow. And we've got some lilies which are lovely to see and we've also got some fish in the sea as well wow and the top of the hedges open like a door And we've also got some benches to sit on if you need to rest. And plants. Wow. Again, if you like aquatics, uh, then uh, you would like this place. Here's some more plants. Wow. That's um, also a place to put monies in. And steps to go into the pond. But that'll be for maintenance workers. Oh, now let's see what we have in here. Wow. Looks like an old stage. Or you could probably sit on it. Uh, made of stone. And then we've got some more different coloured flowers and shrubs these gardens um, at Penter's place get more exciting by the minute A hard court. Yes, uh, they cut um, over the the cut over the winter. Wow. Like um, 
a square shrub. Wow. Some square shrubs. And like half moon shaped shrubs with some t trees. And then again, you can sit, uh, have a bench to sit on here and here. Wow, we've got some tulips. It looks like, and uh, daffodils, and yes, the gardens are extremely colourful, a maintenance guy. Then we've also got two benches again to sit down on. Looks like some more tulips. And benches to sit down on. So yes, you can sit down on these benches if you feel the need to do so. Some white tulips. Again, another sign saying hard cut or hard cut. And then we've got some steps. Then that's a gate. Again, probably another way to get out. Let's have a look what's um, up these steps. A beautiful grass. Wow, there's just so much to see in the, at the gardens. I will do the um, toy, toy museum and um, the actual house. Um, and I'll do a, a final review of both the house and the um, toy museum. Again, some more benches to sit down on. So, it, so there's lots of points where you can just sit down and have a rest. There's also a statue. You can climb up the steps and have a walk around the top. I think that door leads you to um, a church by the looks of things. Very unique, uniquely shaped gardens. Well done to all the gardeners uh, maintaining. And we've got another pond with some lilies. I can't see any fish at the moment. Oh, there is some there. They look like tropical fish. But yes, different shaped head, hedges and a statue there.
We've got some daisies. And some dandelions. So yeah, the regeneration of the Italian garden. That's some information about it. So this is all the Italian garden. It looks absolutely beautiful. And that way you, you can get to the fountain and out the garden. Uh, this is, I think, one of the entrances to Penthurst Place. Some benches and some information before you get into the place and house. The sketches um, are in um, like um, black and white and red and white. And it just tells you pe at Penton Hurst at place through time. and some drawings to look at. There's also green and white drawings at the bottom. So, engraving by George Virtue. So it started um, in the 14th and 15th century um, all the way to the 20th century. And wow, um, a colourful picture here by George S. F. Good. Some English gardens. Wow, shrubs shaped like trees and an another tree and another tree over here. The actual place is um, not open until 10.30 to 4pm, last entry 3 30 so yes I'm getting but you can see the gardens before and
This is a view of the Italian gardens. There's one thing there to going up the steps, there isn't anything to hold on to. That is a word of warning. <laughs> Just some people off my coach. <laughs> Looks like there's some leaves on top of the pond and like flowers. This is very beautiful and unique. Shaped um, head. And um, wheeled access. I think maybe uh, people, uh, disabled people that need a wheelchair can probably access the gardens and the pit chip vents and house that way. So, um, the sky has only got a bit of cloud. It, uh, it is sunny again at the moment. So, oh, also to this pond, beware of deep water. We roughly have um, half an hour to go before I have to um, go into the place Again, all the shrubs are uniquely shaped. That might be used for vents. Um, it could be. Or you can just 
raw carpet. And get a nice view of the gardens. So I would like to say thank you for watching and I'm going to take um, a few photos and then I'm going to go inside the, the place and um, the toy museum and um, then I'll do a final review uh, video um, uh, of the, uh, the whole place, um, Penthurst Palace and Gardens and um, I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye